What's going on, YouTube? This your boy Tech here, bringing y'all this uh, this war against uh, these these Asian guys again. Um, as you can see, uh, this is war number one sixty eight. Uh, war win number one sixty eight for us, and uh, we uh, it was overall just it was it wasn't a, just a normal farm war which you would expect. Uh, we did have some good attacks. Most of our replays got wiped though because we had the uh, the maintenance. So we're limited on the attacks that we can show, so it's not gonna. It's, this is gonna be a real short video. Um, so the first attack we have here is from Oblique, and uh, as you can see, uh, he's just gonna start off with a queen walk. Uh, nothing too crazy, just a normal queen walk. Um, and but you're gonna see, you're gonna see it like this. A lot of our tens are, our tens are are definitely becoming. A force to be reckoned with. Our nines are already there, but our tens are slowly but surely, you know, coming up. So as you can see right here, he's going to, he's going to take the enemy AQ right here. Um, that's one thing you never want to have your enemy, your AQ such a, on such a, such an easy target. He drops the poison to prepare for the, the incoming CC. Um, he did. Did he bring? Yeah, he brings minions, and that's pretty much how we're starting to handle hounds now. Uh, bring a couple minions to help with the uh, with the DPS. Uh, it does two things. One, it it kills the whole advantage of having a hound to begin with, which is a time sink. And on two, it helps deal with the uh, the pups a lot faster. So to save the uh, the DPS on you, I mean the the health on your healers. So a uh, good job by him. As you can see, uh, he has 31 hogs. Looks like one golem, and he has his BK. So he definitely has a, a unique plan, I should say. This is kind of what you saw from us two wars ago, I believe. Yeah, two wars ago for us. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll be telling y'all what happened with the War Bears War in the next video. But, um, as you can see, he basically, he his AQ joins up with the kill squad, which he only brings one goal, in, which is really all he needs because it's just not enough. It's just not enough DPS right there to for it to really you know need more than two, more than one, and so he drops the freeze on the first inferno. Um, that's down, and then he drops the second freeze, and then you're gonna see him drop the heal net the heal next, and just really good overall execution. Uh, th these type of plans work out really well when you know your bombs. Aren't when you have when obviously there's no obvious DV, DGB because of the way the base is set up and when bombs are on the outside because when bombs are on the outside I had a, an attack a couple wars ago at the town 10 level where my plan went to shit because there's a bomb like in the middle of the path thing the hogs to the inferno and it kind of ruined everything so good job by Joey uh, I mean excuse me oblique his old name was Joey um, definitely a dope attack. Uh, we definitely we have an arranged war coming up in two weeks, I believe. So we hoping to bring y'all some some more Town Hall 10 content. So uh, yeah, definitely a dope attack. We're gonna speed this up. So that's gonna be three. So good job by him. Uh, we're gonna show three more attacks. Oh no, excuse me. Actually, we're gonna show. So here we go. Here goes Joe Mama. Uh, looks like a, a standard shatter uh, go ho with a couple back end loons. And uh, you see him bring out the the CC. He he does drop the poison. Uh, I still don't understand why people are not just dropping double poison immediately. But I mean, I guess with three minutes and thirty seconds for time, it's just no rush. So he goes ahead. He goes ahead and kills the CC. And he uh, he drops these these loons right here. Basically, this is a way that he can funnel the golem. Um. So good job by him, cause golems. I've seen golems walk crazy amounts of distance, just based on the fact that there's another defense somewhere close. So. He has a jump spell. He places the jump. Um, golems jump. 
and he does, he does a good job of funneling as well. Usually when you have the, the base with the walls spread out, it's usually kind of hard to funnel because it's so much space. You don't have a lot of room. They take up so much space. But he does a good job of that. NBA key goes down. And from this point on, it's, uh, it's really just, you know, the hogs taking the base. Queen almost walks. Uh, thankfully, she does turn back in. The jump is about to disappear, so she's probably going to start beating on the wall here soon. And, uh... As you can see, he's just starting to sprinkle in the hogs. Um, he does a good job of sprinkling in the hogs to the point where he can keep his that you know that cleanup whiz right there alive. Um, that's definitely a good job by him, because well, that's gonna he, that whiz is gonna be clearing trash while he's you know while he's hogging. So, uh, good job by him. Uh, he's still sprinkling in hogs. Um, he has he, they're all hogs are down at this point. Um, for the I mean, as you can see, the, the defenses are pretty much down. Um, he has one hill left and nothing really to worry about. No, no threat to spring traps based on where defenses are. No giant bombs, etc. So, good job by him. As you can see, there was one giant bomb out there on the outside. And at this point, it's just, it's just going to be hogs clearing up trash. So, good job by him. Uh, don't protect. Uh, we just we just hoping to uh, keep bringing the heat, man. I, this is one of our... I can't remember what war this is in a row that we've won, but I think we're on a little hot streak. We've cut down on our TWC, you know, encounters. So ever since then, we've done pretty good at winning the majority of our matches. So the next up is going to be Raiden. And here, uh, you're just basically going to see this is one of those, this is why you don't use open bases. doesn't even have jump spell, EQ, anything. So he pulls the CC, drops the poison. Uh, he drops a poison. He's going to poison the CC, um, of course, and go ahead and kill it. And as you're going to see, once again, he's going to wait for the uh, the poison, which I don't understand why people do. And uh, he kills the dragon. Uh, you can do this, these type of lures when you know, you're not going to need the extra spell spaces. So he comes in with the funnel. Um, he does a, I would have probably dropped a, a wizard on the archer tower right there to kind of save some DPS. I mean, to kind of get rid of DPS on the, the golem to save some health. He does actually drop it, but he does it a tad bit late. And he starts healing, he starts hogging from that point. So, um, and as you can see here, he's just, just going to sp sprinkle hogs uh, going in a counterclockwise fashion. He's just going to sprinkle hogs around a base. Um, I mean, with this type of base, you really don't have to, when you're doing a surgical deployment, you really don't have to worry about any type of giant bombs or anything like that. So, um, this is going to be an easy, it's going to be an easy three for him. And like I said, these guys, they weren't very good, um, which is basically what most, you know, Elite War Clans run into in most farm wars. Um, you do have some people like uh, WHF. Like they've had like several, their farm wars have helped, have made them encounter several elite clans. So that's the different. But for for a lot of clans, um, it's just basically, you know, this, this type of war. Uh, not necessarily go wiping. These guys weren't go wiping, but they uh the base building wasn't there and the three star you know they knew the strats but they weren't able to, to come through and actually complete the strats so good job by raiding on the attack and uh that's gonna be three for us man so definitely uh definitely good attack and uh, i think we have one more attack here if not this is gonna be the end oh yeah here we go so we have one more attack and this is about Joms. And this is a uh, Govo. So, uh, as you can see, uh, he, he has a wide funnel. A very wide funnel, actually. He does a good job of, of getting the wall breakers to go where he wants them to go to. Um, does a good job of funneling the AQ as well and the BK. Everything, the funnel was immaculate, especially with Valks, because Valks have a tendency to walk. 
So he did a great job of making that funnel wide enough to the point where Vax wouldn't walk. He does drop a poison. Um, I can see why he didn't double poison. Um, because of the hound. I myself probably would have lured it to a corner and just used the the archer healer trick, but uh, probably you know didn't do that because of the loon. Um, but as you can see, does a good job of, of hogging the the back end of the base. The BK is still there with the Valx, uh shredding the inside of the base. Uh, Expo is occupied with golems and the AQ is about to go down um, she walks out to the outside of the base and at this point this is basically the AQ is going to die I believe and that's going to be it this is the last defense for the hogs and that's going to be three so we're going to go ahead and fast forward this so uh Good attack by Joms, uh, especially the opener. Great funnel set by him. So uh, that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Um, our next war would be our most current war, and we're currently having a family scram. So it's going to be a couple days before we get you another video after this, after the one that I have coming up. So uh, like I said, be on the lookout for our three-star academy series that will be coming up here soon. I'm going to be starting that, basically just taking a base, you know, drawn step by step, you know, kind of how we we view things from, from a base perspective, how we want to attack it. So I'll be getting to that. But other than that, man, people in YouTube land, y'all be easy. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're looking for, a, you know, a, a dedicated, you know, elite war clan who, you know, knows how to have as much fun off the game as they do on the game go through and apply to a more reapers or war 101 and come to be a part of the fam other than that it's your boy tech from more thieves and i'm out